Welcome back to Barley and Hops. I'm George. Hey, today we're going to do a, a really quick sugar wash. Uh, for those of you who want to start, you know, with the real basic, this is a real simple recipe. Uh, it, pro it produces a very, very neutral spirit, but it's so easy to do. I just thought I'd do a real quick video because it only takes a couple of minutes. There's no cooking involved or none of that. Now, I'm going to use the fast ferment because I'm, I'm sold on it. it. It works for beer, whiskey, wine. It works for just about anything you want to do. It's a really good system. Everything's done in one container. Uh, there's another video about that, and you get to see it, but you'll see us go through this process. So what I've got now is I've got, I've already prepared, just for the sake of time, I've already prepared half of my batch, uh, and I'm going to use 12 pounds of sugar. Uh, this is a six pound bag of corn sugar, and I've already used the other six pound bag, so I'm going to do this one for you to show you how it's done, uh, or how I did it. Uh, there's hundreds and hundreds of techniques. Um, I also have some yeast nutrient, and that's about two ounces, that's all you need. You, you don't need a whole lot. We're going to provide those free amino nitrogen and some of those other nutrients that your yeast are looking for. This is the yeast that I'm going to use. This is Distillers Active Dry Yeast. From High Spirits, it's called Daddy, D-A-D-Y, Distillers Active Dry Yeast. The, this is wonderful stuff. It ferments below 90 degrees or up to 90 degrees, and uh, you get the highest alcohol content out of your wash uh, than, than with any other yeast. Uh, and there are plenty of them out there. Uh, the, matter of fact, the bag looks like this. It comes in a foil pouch that's uh, normally vacuum packed. I just take it out of the pack and put it in my plastic Ziploc bag and I store it in a refrigerator just to keep it, uh, uh, keep it fresh. Uh, th it is vacuum packed and it's a dry yeast, so it, it is very, very uh, shelf stable. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I've got this all set here, and I'm gonna get the camera reset up for you real quick and show you what we've done in our bucket because all I did was I added the sugar in one bucket, the water from another bucket, I poured it in, you know, mixed it up, then I'll pour it back and forth to aerate because oxygen is an important function in, in the actual fermentation. After fermentation, you don't want any oxygen, but you gotta have oxygen to get, to get it started. So we're gonna do that real quick, and then uh, we'll get back and I'll fill this all the way up to the top. We'll pitch our yeast and we're done. Well, here we go. Uh, the of course, you know, we always use the uh, star sand, a quick spray, a shake, and uh, I can start using that. Now I did sanitize the buckets before I started using them. We're going to dump the sugar which is a real simple just to dump. Now, if you're using table sugar, that works just as well too. You may find though that you have to warm the water up quite a bit in order for the, uh, for the sugar to dissolve. But if you're using corn sugar, uh, corn sugar dissolves immediately. Uh, it's almost like a powder. Now watch here, all I'm gonna do is pour the water in. Pour in a high, nice high pour. That's gonna give me a little bit of aeration. Uh, we're gonna stir that. And you'll also notice that if, uh, I'm, just to, I'm just gonna pour it back. What I'm trying to do now is I'm just trying to aerate the wash so it's got some oxygen in it. Uh, you'll also notice that if you're using uh, table sugar, uh, once you make this mix, this mix will be uh, like a greenish blue. And it makes you wonder why, if it's white sugar in clear water. And if you use corn sugar, uh, you'll notice that it's just a clear, just the water's just as clear as it was when you started. So that's it for actually mixing it. The only last thing I'll do, just for simplicity, is I'm gonna add the uh, yeast nutrient here so that when I put it into the fast ferment, it's already mixed. So that's a real quick mix. So in just a second here, we'll get set back up and we're gonna transfer this into the fast ferment, pitch our yeast and we're gonna call it a day. All right, we're back. Uh, we've just mixed up the uh, sugar and the water. You know, I've already got like two gallons here and I've got three gallons sitting there. Uh, and all I'm gonna do now is just transfer it from the bucket, which I've already aerated. I'm gonna transfer it right into the fast ferment. Hey, one of the easiest ways to do that, well, there's a couple ways. Uh, one would be to pick up this three gallon bucket and try to pour it, of course, even though I got a big six inch hole here, you tend to get sloppy and spill it all over the place. I took one of my old distilling, uh, uh, jugs of distilled water that I use for mixing. Um, I just cut the top out of it, and so I'm, I got myself a really a water transfer gizmo. So what I'll do is I'll reach in and fill that up, and I'm just going to transfer this into here. Now you'll notice you're going to get a little tiny spillage, but that spillage is nothing compared to what you could possibly do if uh, you were trying to pick up, lift that whole bucket. So here in a few moments, I'll have this thing full and we'll show you the next step. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, right here, we're back. Um, we just poured all of the uh, the last of the mixture in here, and I showed you how I use that one gallon jug. So now we're up to a little bit over five gallons, and I got my mash ready. Well, all the last step is really is to to add the yeast because we already put the yeast nutrient in. We took that short step, a shortcut step, when we mixed it into the water. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just introduce the yeast, and then we're going to put the lid on with the airlock, and we're going to put this in the corner and let it ferment. Uh, when we do that, and I showed you that we use the Daddy Yeast dist uh, Distiller's Active Dry Yeast. And now you're going to wonder why I'm doing it like this. This is a big tablespoon. Uh, that's one. Uh, that's two what I call heaping tablespoons. It really winds up being about 1.3 ounces or 28 grams, somewhere like that. But uh, remember, you can pitch not enough yeast, but it's kind of hard to over pitch yeast. So I've got enough yeast in there now that'll take care of that. And that bag, that one pound will last me quite a while. The, one of the last things I'm gonna do now is now that I've got the yeast in there, and you'll notice I don't really have to stir it if I don't want to. I can just leave it sit there. That'll do its thing. Remember, we're gonna have to open up the valve and fill the ball up. And we can do that after we put the lid on, but we definitely wanna do that before we put the airlock on. I use my handy star sand. I just give the cap a spray. It helps seal it, plus, you know, we're being careful, it's sanitary. I screw the lid on. Ugh. Get a good, nice, tight seal. I've got my airlock half full of water. I'll place that in the hole. And I'll tell you what, we're at about 74 degrees. And um, here in about 12 hours, I should get a really good fermentation out of that in yeah, probably about 10 days. I'll take the ball off the bottom, dump the yeast, and it'll become my secondary. I'll clarify that, and then it's time. Well, to here we are. Uh, this is really the next morning. I just thought I'd give you a, a look at this. This is uh, this is what we did yesterday, and you'll see the the action I've got to go. We call what we call this is not as much of a violent fermentation, but but that's constant. Uh, but that's the results of uh, our sugar wash that we did yesterday, and you'll notice here also that. Uh, we're at uh, a little bit, about 80 degrees, a little bit over 80 degrees. So that'll, uh, that tells you that there is a lot of action going on inside there. So even if you do start off at the 74 degrees, uh, there is some uh, spike in temperature based on what the uh, yeast are doing inside. So I just thought I'd give you a look at that. Uh, that's our fast ferment, fermenting. We'll see you next time. Thanks.